brought to you by Ashton Mitchell at Premier Nationwide Lending, where dreams are defined. And by Angela Barrett at HomeMattersSC.com, building on what matters to you. Hey guys, I am here today again with Ashton Mitchell and at his premier nationwide lending. <laughs> Got it right that time. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we're going to talk about what a first time home buyer is. Yeah, let's talk about that. So there is a ton of misconceptions out there about first time home buyers. Who's a first time home buyer? What qualifications? So let's break that down. It really depends on what program you're using as a first time home buyer. So South Carolina, we have it divided up by counties. We have what's called targeted counties and non-targeted counties. So your targeted counties are counties that have a lower population, mm -hmm. and they're trying to have more people buy in those counties. Right. Non-targeted would be like Lexington and Richland. We're a little populated. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> so if you were in a non-targeted county to be a first-time home buyer, that simply means you have ha not had ownership interest in a home in the last three years. So if you sold a house three years ago, you've been renting since, you qualify as a first time home buyer. Now, if you're in a targeted county or you're a single parent, disabled, or a veteran of the military, you're considered a first time home buyer the minute you sell your house. So you can literally sell your house at 9 a.m., buy the new one at 10 a.m. with a first time home buyer program and qualify. If you have not had a home in that area prior. If you're buying in a targeted county mm -hmm. or if you're buying in a non-targeted county like Lexington or Richland, but you're a single parent, okay. disabled, or a veteran. All right. Yep. Great. Good to know. I'm glad. Thank you for clearing that up because yeah. um, some of that gets very confusing. It is. <laughs> well, that's why they have us. That's right. <laughs> that's right. And the other thing I think you and I were talking about prior to us... Um, starting our first time home buyer conversation was that when parents put their children on deeds let's just say because i've had clients and i know you have two that have bought a condo because their child's going to mm -hmm. usc and they may be there because they're going to medical school so it's going to be an extended period yes so it is a good investment but if you put your child on the deed that takes away their first time home buying options. So, it does, so it does. For those who've ever thought about doing that, might wanna look into an LLC, certainly contact your accountant and your attorney and make sure that um, that's what we kind of tell them is, so Absolutely. you don't take that first time, time home buyer option away from away the child. From yeah, That's yeah. right. Even if they've never had the mortgage on it, if they are on the ownership document of that house, that's right. They will be stripped of that first time home buyer eligibility. That's right. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, definitely. All definitely. right. Got any questions? Give us a call. <laughs> Brought to you by Ashton Mitchell at Premier Nationwide Lending, where dreams are defined. And by Angela Barrett at HomeMattersSC.com, building on what matters to you.